flow and enchantment. Highly ambitious people constantly improve their skills and engage in projects that they view as challenging. Hence, they are constantly barraged by anxiety and stress, which they embrace. They are not exactly in a state of flow, but are closer to the anxiety end of the spectrum. They thrive in high anxiety, challenging situations. Working hard for something you don't care about is called stress. Working hard for something you love is called passion. The best moments in your lives are not the passive, receptive, relaxing times. They usually occur when your body or mind is voluntarily stretched to its limits to accomplish something difficult and worthwhile. When the challenges are higher than your counterparts and your skills are higher than your counterparts, then you will be in flow. Enjoy complex flow activities. It is very important to be optimistic and not give up hope. Fascination represents a desire to connect, a willingness to embrace discomfort and the motivation to learn how things like relationships or physics work. Practice saying, how does this work? And tell me more. Our similarities bring us to a similar ground, but our differences make us fascinated by each other. Think of your job as interesting and fascinating. In your quest to find enchantment in the world, don't forget to look within, for a gold mine of enchantment lies within you. Pure and innocent people are most enchanted by life. Learn from them. If you find ordinary things enchanting, then you will find all things extraordinary. If you know how to perceive, think and feel, then every moment of this life can be enchanting. It is the dim haze of mystery that adds enchantment to pursuit. The young at heart wish for a star because they believe that their dreams will come true. Do not go with the flow. Be the flow. Be formless and shapeless like water. Water can flow or it can crash. Be like water. Adapt to the flow of life. Invest your time, energy, efforts and emotions in achievements that you consider worthy. Free yourself of distractions and engage deeply and meaningfully in activities. If you perceive that the tasks are too difficult for your skills, work on improving your skills first. Make sure that you enjoy the process. Flow is like playing jazz. Ego halts and time flies. Every action, thought and movement follows from the previous one. It is the antithesis of wasting time. It is much more rewarding than engaging in passive entertainment. You are always going to be sandwiched between anxiety and boredom. Have a context for your goals. Aim to encompass your entire life in a single flow activity with harmonious goals that provide constant purpose. The point is, the point is to be happy while doing things that stretch your skills, help you grow, and fulfill your potential.